Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm here joining in with the Team Tiny December Hop. The theme for this hop is winter. I have gone Christmas, which is maybe slightly off theme, but I'm just still in the Christmas mode. So um, here we go. I've got some Lawn Fawn Henry's ABCs. I have the Lawn Fawn Bar Humbug stamp set. I am also using the Lawn Fawn Hive 5 stamp set. And finally, I have this Doodlebug Let It Snow 6x6 paper pad. And I am going to be using a striped pattern from it. It's this kind of colorful stripe here. So when I started, I didn't really have a plan. I knew that I wanted to create something by die cutting out some letters from some cardstock and um, laying some pattern paper in behind it. So that's what I started with. So I die cut the word Merry. I've done it twice just because I had two pieces of card that I could use. And then I went ahead and stamped and colored my images. Now I was initially going to use some Mama Elephant stamps, but then I was flicking through and I came across this Lawn Fawn Hive 5 stamp set and I decided that I would use that. Now I have seen a card somewhere a few weeks ago using bees with um, Santa hats on them and I really, really liked it. I've racked my brain. I've gone back through Instagram to try and find the post so that I could credit that person. I cannot find it. If anybody knows who that was, please let me know because I'd love to give them the credit that is due to them um, because this idea was inspired by them. So I did a little bit of masking. I um, kind of stamped out my images with the little hats on the bees and the lights on my beehives. And I've colored everything out with my Copex. And now I'm taking the sentiment from the um, Hive 5 stamp set that says to the queen bee. And I'm just using the bee part of that. And I'm stamping that above the merry to say bee merry. So it's a little bit of a pun, a little bit of a play on words there to create a little kind of fun sentiment for my card. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach the um, pattern paper to the back so that you can see the stripes through my letters. So I am creating this card for the Team Tiny Hop. Um, so Team Tiny is a group of paper crafters with less than a thousand subscribers. We're all, we all have YouTube channels, so we all have less than a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channels. And the idea of the hops is to try and create some interest and um, kind of spread the word about our cool little channels um, and hopefully get some new subscribers along the way. It is a lot of fun. There's some really talented people. And as I say, we're all smaller YouTube channels, so you may not have come across some of them before. I urge you to go and check it out. So to hop along, you can follow the link in the description below, or you can type hashtag Team Tiny December 2022 hop in the search bar of YouTube and it will bring up all of the other videos for you to watch. So I urge you to go ahead and have a look at those and um, you might come across a new creator that you've not seen before and it would be a lot of fun um, and you would enjoy it, I'm sure. So here I'm just taking the die cut letters and I'm using them to help me place in the kind of um, the, the rest of the, the negative part of the letter. Does that make sense? <laughs> so that it fills in and you can read it more clearly. And once I've done that, I'm taking a piece of masking paper here and I'm just kind of placing it straight across my card base. And then I'm using this Minty Fresh ink from Lawn Fawn and a blending brush. I say a blending brush. This is a makeup brush that I use for my blending. Um, nothing fancy here. And I'm just going to kind of create a little bit of a gradient, um, darkest at that bottom piece right up to light at the top. And I'm leaving a kind of gap around the edges. So I'm having a bit of a nightmare here. Trying to find a quiet time to record is proving impossible at the moment. It's the um, school holidays here and I have kids running in and out of my house, which is great because the kids are having fun and they're enjoying themselves. But it makes it difficult to find quiet time. <laughs> But anyway, I'm just doing the same for both of my cards. Um, I have done exactly the same images for both, exactly the same die cutting. I will end up kind of laying out the um, images slightly differently for each card, but otherwise they're exactly the same. And I do find it quite easy to do kind of production line style cards. Um, I 
was cutting a piece of cardstock, this white piece of cardstock down, and I had enough to make two, so I just thought, why not make two at the same time, and it doesn't take that much longer than making one. So here I have finished with my ink blending, I've peeled up that mask, and now I'm just adding my images around, trying to figure out the best placement for them. And once I'm happy with the placement, I will go ahead and I'll use my tweezers to help me pick up the little images because a lot of them are quite small and I'll just add some liquid glue on the back. So I'm keeping this card very flat and um, there's no dimension. I'm keeping everything flat down and just sticking it on with glue. So I have placed my little hive in the center there and now I'm going to have my three little bees kind of floating around the edges of my hive all wearing their centre hats and looking very festive. So um, I didn't use all the bees in the set. There's, I think there's about five bees in total, but I used three of them. And um, again, I just used some masking to, to kind of stamp them out with the little hats attached. And the hats come from that Bar Humbug stamp set, as does the set string of lights that is on the hive and the little presents that are on the outside. So um, everything else is from the Hive 5 stamp set. And I'm so happy I bought this kit because I was humming and hiring about it. And I'm so happy that I did go ahead and get it. So there you can see, I have placed all of my images. They are slightly different in each card, but they're the same images. They're just laid out slightly differently. And now I have some crystal stickles, which I am using to add a little bit of um, glitter to my images. So just on the lights on the center hats, I did initially just put them on the kind of brim of the hat, but I ended up going back and putting it on the pom-pom of the hat as well. And also onto the ribbons of my little presents there. And I'll do the same for both of my cards. And I just think this adds a little bit of something extra for Christmas. It's nice to have a little bit of sparkle at Christmas time. And I just thought this was a nice way to add a little extra detail. So there we are. Hopefully you can see a little bit of the shimmer and shine there. And I have done the same to both and they're all ready to go. So now all that's left to do is to create some card bases. So I've pulled out some cilantro cardstock from Lawn Fawn. And this Pour Some Stamps Inside Holiday Greeting stamp set. I've used this stamp set so much this year. It was such a great um, thing to have in my stash for Christmas time. And there's so many lovely sentiments inside it. And I just chose one along with one of the little bees and one of the trails from the Hive 5 set. And now it's just a case of attaching my card front onto my card base. And it's all done. So I'm just using some liquid glue again for this. Um, again, no dimension, no depth, no foam tape in this one. It's all flat, makes it nice and easy to post if you're going to post it anywhere. But I just thought that, that it was loads of fun. The colors are kind of non-traditional. They're a little bit brighter, um, but I thought it looked really, really fun and happy. And um, that little pop of green from the cilantro just around the edges really makes brings out all the other colors. And I just think it looks so fun. I really hope you enjoyed this one today. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. Please do consider subscribing to my channel because I would love to see you come back again. Please feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And please do hop along with the Team Tiny December Hop. Remember the link is in the description below or you can search hashtag Team Tiny December 2022 Hop to join in. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.